So level four is characterized by a you win mindset and it's centered around compassion and care for others. Now, while this level represents a significant evolution in terms of emotional maturity and empathy, it sometimes leads to challenges kind of like people pleasing and overburdening oneself. So here's some real life scenarios to help illustrate how this might actually manifest for you. Now, in the workplace, I want you to meet Maya. Now, Maya is a team leader. She is known for her empathetic and supportive nature. She always puts her team's needs ahead of her own, often going out of her way to help them with tasks and other things. While her team really does appreciate her, sometimes she finds herself overwhelmed with work because she really struggles to say no or let go of things and delegate tasks. Now, she fears that setting boundaries might actually make her appear less caring or less supportive. In relationships, I want you to consider the case of Michael. Michael is always there for his friends and family, often putting their needs before his own. And he's, you know, the person that everyone turns to for support, dialing up, phone calls, you name it, all hours of the day. Now, while this makes him feel valued, it really also leaves very little time for his own interests and needs. Now, he fears that if he prioritizes himself, he might disappoint those that he really cares about. He might get the wrong impression. Now, in community involvement, Emma is actively involved in community service, volunteer work, and her local church. Now, she is deeply compassionate and consistently seeks ways to help other people. However, her desire to fix every little problem that she encounters leads her to complete burnout. She finds it really hard to turn down requests for help or even like when her schedule is already full, she still takes on more. Now in parenting, Sarah, she's a devoted parent and puts her children's needs and wants before her own. She is highly involved in every aspect of their lives from school activities to social interactions and all kinds of um, extracurricular activities. And she loves benefiting from the children's involvement And she also neglects her well-being and interest, feeling that if she focuses on herself, that would be selfish. Now, in each one of these examples, the individuals are very driven by some deep sense of compassion and a desire to help or serve others. However, their tendency to prioritize other needs over their own can actually lead to things like exhaustion or lack of self-care or burnout. Now, as an NLP coach, I help address their issues and challenges of this level four energy, which involves helping these individuals find a balance between caring for others and caring for themselves. Techniques here might include things like setting healthy boundaries or developing some assertiveness, learning to recognize and honor their own needs and limits. The goal is to maintain their compassionate nature while ensuring they don't lose sight of their own well-being and happiness. In this level four energy, which is our care energy, I want you to think about what, in what ways do I prioritize other needs ahead of my own and how does this affect my well-being? I want you to embrace empowerment and authentic connections moving forward. And this is a personal invitation just for you. In this dance of life and leadership, finding harmony between giving and receiving, leading and supporting can often feel like kind of navigating uncharted waters. It's really a delicate balance and one that requires not just a skill, but a deep sense of empathy and self-awareness and the courage to set that boundary and honor your own well-being. As your guide through this transformative journey, I'd like to invite you to a more intimate setting And it's like a sanctuary for growth, really. Understanding and empowerment, catapulting you on a path to genuine connection and leadership. And number one, with your own self. Now, do you desire to cultivate deeper empathy? Empathy is one of the most cornerstones of meaningful relationships and effective leadership. Now, through our work together, we'll explore these arts that resonating with others, emotions, perspectives, and experiences, raising that emotional IQ and making you more valuable in your relationships.
helping you to activate the listening and emotional intelligence. That becomes our tools weaving stronger and more empathetic connections in every single interaction that we come across. And I would like to know, would you like to increase feeling honored yourself with boundaries and with others? Without empathy and boundaries, we can lose ourselves in the act of giving. And when we dive into some of our sessions moving forward, revelations of past programming may come forward and why that programming has kept you from setting boundaries in the past. And that can be a problem. And that stems subconsciously from somewhere. And we find what that is and we rewire your brain and that patterning. Once that pathway takes presence, you'll discover the strength in setting limits and protect your own energy, honor, and needs. Now, it's not just about saying no with kindness. It's about making space for your well-being and nurturing you and your relationships from a place of fullness, not depletion. Leadership that lifts everyone. This kind of leadership is an echo and it ripples across communities and teams. And our focus is to raise you up and to help you refine your own personal leadership style. And that's what fosters the you win environment with compassion, inclusivity, and vision. And together we can create that space. I am inviting you to reach out for a vibrant living strategy session. And it's a chance to enhance your self-worth, your confidence, and your inner power. Moving beyond people-pleasing to find the value in authentic connections and contributions moving forward. Are you ready?